Hey guys, Colby here with the Dead Pixel Society, and today we're going to talk a little bit about getting a DualShock 4 PlayStation 4 controller to work on your PC. Now, uh, first things first, we're going to look at the program needed, and then we'll look more at the hardware. So uh, let's go and look at this program right here, DS4 Windows. Uh, there are a couple of programs out there that can get the DS4 working on the PC. They all basically act as wrappers to get the input uh, transmitted by the DualShock 4 to work as X input, which is basically the 360 and Microsoft's basic standard for uh, input for controllers. Um, and that, that makes it work like a 360 controller emulated, and uh, that way you can use the native bindings and all that. So this is a really useful program. So uh, we'll go ahead, and I've already got this program installed, but all you need to do is download it, and I'll show you the requirements right here. Uh, pretty basic requirements. Mostly it's the Microsoft Net 4.5, which he has put a link to, uh, and you can just download that right from Microsoft. So uh, if you are going to do this wirelessly, you need a Bluetooth dongle uh, of some sort, uh, USB external uh, 2.1 plus EDR or faster. Uh, I like this one right here. This is a SoundBot 4.0, Bluetooth 4.0 uh, dongle. That way you can use it with uh, low power devices as well. So all we need to do is open up DS4 Windows after you've got it installed. And if you're gonna run it wired, all you have to do is put your favorite micro USB cable in the back of your DS4 controller and you're all good. You just go to uh, profiles, hit new, and it automatically sets up a profile for you uh, that is basically a uh, 360 controller on your DS4. So really handy there. Uh, a little bit more complicated if you wanted to get it working wirelessly. So we're go ahead, we'll go ahead and uh, take the USB cable out. Um, and to get it to work wirelessly, first you have to pair the device with your USB um, on your or your Bluetooth on your computer. So to do that, you hold share and the PS button at the same time until the backlight blinks very rapidly. You see there, you'll know it when you see it. So after that, you're going to go to control panel. You're going to go to add a device and it will show up right there. Uh, in add a device, go to properties and make sure this box is ticked right here. Drivers for keyboard. Okay. Drivers for keyboard mice. That'll turn this into a Bluetooth peripheral device. And after doing that, it will be paired and it will work right with DS4 Windows and you can use it wirelessly. But uh, that's about it, guys. Pretty simple, but can be a little bit tricky, so I figured I'd make this video for you. If this helped you set up your controller, go ahead and like the video. It helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to see more content from me or my team, uh, the Dead Pixel Society, go ahead and hit subscribe, and you'll get content delivered to you daily. Quality content. This has been Colby with the Dead Pixel Society signing off. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Thanks.